Welcome friends to another episode of Team Jesus Outdoors. Hey friends, today I've got a short unboxing review for you of the Clam Arctic Warrior tip-up dead stick system. There are a few reasons why I chose to go with the Clam Arctic Warrior. First of all, the first reason why I chose to go with the Clam Arctic Warrior is the versatility. Now, I don't do a whole bunch of pike fishing. I do very, very little pike fishing with tip-ups, partly because I just don't find it that much fun to hand line in a pike off of a tip-up. I've used the old school style tip-ups. I have a couple of the Fraybill style tip-ups. So I've used your very, very traditional style tip-ups. And I just don't find it that much fun to fish that way. But for a dead sticking device or a tip-up, tip-down, dead stick device I wanted one that was versatile enough that I could attach a rod to it and use it for pike in the event that I want to do some pike fishing even more importantly I wanted one that I could use for panfish because panfish is what I chase the vast majority of time that I'm on the ice so that versatility was the first thing that really attracted me to the Arctic Warrior the second thing that really attracted me was the ease of the system um, it isn't a bunch of pieces you see it comes out of the box almost already ready to use you throw the flag in there put the device on your rod and you're ready to go so I really liked that ease of use factor uh, my buddy Mike has been using one for the better part of this season um, I've, I've seen his in action his seems to work really really well so I like that part as well uh, they're very inexpensive. I think they're only about 17 or 18 bucks at Cabela's. I just found that the Clam Arctic Warrior, the versatility, the ease of use, it's inexpensive, budget friendly, and it really gave me the versatility to use it for pike or panfish, either one. After seeing them, after seeing one in action, I was pretty, pretty set that that was the first one I'm going to try. Now I've seen the jaw jackers. I'm not crazy about the. I'm not crazy about the operation of the jaw jacker and I've also seen a couple of the other tip down styles that I'm just not super crazy about the way that they're rigged. Included with the Arctic Warrior is this bracket and these two velcro straps which allow you to attach the bracket to whatever rod that you're going to use with the system which is part of what makes this so versatile is just depending on which species you're chasing if you're chasing panfish you might use one of your panfish rods with this system if you're chasing pike you might go with something a little bit heavier but this system allows you to quick fairly quickly and easily swap from one rod to another what I have decided to do for a quicker more secure setup is I have just used a couple of zip ties and I've secured the rod holder bracket to my rod with a couple of zip ties. I feel like I can get this a little bit more snug than using the Velcro straps and I found it to be a little bit quicker doing this by myself. To use the Velcro straps it would really help to have a second guy second set of hands 
but this seems like it probably provides a little bit more secure attachment point to my rod handle. You'll notice that there's a slight divot here in the rod holder arm that you attach the flag to that divot. So the least little bit of pressure on that rod tip, this rod moves, that flag goes up. And there's also an adjustment for a lighter bite detector. The manufacturer recommends using the product with the bale open. However, I feel that using the product with the bale closed and the drag loosened could possibly be a better idea. You just have to remember to tighten the drag when you pick up the rod. Maybe by the end of the season, I'll have an opportunity to use it a couple times and give you a good review on it. Let you know if it lived up to my expectations or not. But in a nutshell, that's why I went with the Clam Arctic Warrior. The one thing I failed to mention was it's very, very portable. Uh, you simply lower the you simply lower the bracket that holds the rod tip up, and you can throw it in the bottom of your bucket or throw it in your sled and drag it onto the next hole. Hey, but guys, I hope that you'll go back and you'll check out some of our other ice fishing videos. If you guys are anything like me, and I know some of you are diehard ice guys and you love ice season, you live for this time of year. I'm not one of those guys. I really enjoy ice fishing. Once I've got to get out of the, on the ice. Uh, 15 or 20 times, I really start looking forward to open water. By mid-February, I really start to get excited about the thought that open water is potentially only a month away. I've been tying up stingers in the basement for the last couple weeks. I've only got, uh, I think, two dozen more to tie up and I'll be good for the season. But hey guys, I hope that you'll go back and check out some of our walleye fishing videos as well. Last year we shot probably close to two dozen videos jigging the river. Hey, and here real soon, we're gonna have an announcement about a meet and greet that we're trying to put together for April. And as soon as the ice is gone, I'll start, uh, I'll start giving you some weekly river reports. So hey guys, thanks for staying with us. Hey, like I say all the time, there's only two kinds of guys in this world. There are men that need Jesus, and there are men that need more of Jesus. Friends, I hope that you'll determine which of those you are and I hope that you will pursue taking your next steps with the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that you will make it your purpose in 2021 to draw closer to your Lord God. If you've not already accepted him as Lord and Savior of your life, I pray that you'll do that. Friends, my email address is in the description below. Please make sure to drop me an email. If you've got any questions, anything you want to talk about, any comments you want to make, hey, don't forget to drop a comment in the comment box below. Don't forget to smash that like button. Make sure you're subscribed to Team Jesus Outdoors so you don't miss our spring Detroit River reports. Friends, God bless tight lines. We'll see you guys on the water.